Hi, welcome back Weld Tip family. My name is David Sidisa, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to weld uh, Alloy 400, commonly known as Monel, in the 6G position. So let's get started. Alright guys, so we have our pipe coupons here. It's a 4 inch Schedule 80 pipe here beveled I'm gonna go ahead and finish prepping these with an aluminum disc this material is kind of soft and likes to clog up uh, grinding disc and normal uh, sanding disc and flap disc and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and use that aluminum disc and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of a landing I'm gonna use about a dime size landing on here just because this material is soft and likes to uh, basically drop down away from you when you're putting in your root all right so I'm gonna go ahead and set up our purge for our first set of tacks here. I like to put penetrating tacks in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the purge up, tack it up here on the table, and then we'll put it up on our stand here. Okay, guys, so for this, I'm gonna do a about a 3 16 gap, as the material does like to close very quickly as you're putting in your root. And the filler wire we're gonna be using today is ERNICU7. This is the Monel wire here. Go ahead and open our purge. So I'm going to use this masking tape here. And I like to fold over the ends. So as you're working the material here, especially when you go to tack and move your wire, it doesn't get caught up on it. So. on here okay I'm gonna feel around here making sure I got a nice little flow you know you can barely kind of feel it between your fingers I'm just gonna let this run for a couple of minutes or so make sure get all the oxygen out of there and the backing gas we're using today guys is argon go ahead and tack it today I'm using the Miller XMT 350 field pro I got it set at about 90 amps. We go ahead and put this first tack, and I'm actually gonna roll it to the side. I don't like tacking straight up. When I have it a little bit on the side, it lets me see inside a little bit. You can see I got plenty of play for my 1 8 wire here. So go ahead and tack this up. Guys, we got our first tack in there. I'm gonna just double check that. Trying to get my my gap the same here. I'm gonna go ahead and tape this back up. Alright guys, and as I tack, I kind of stay a little bit high at the beginning. And then I like to kind of bring my wire down slowly. You know. Moving side to side, pausing on the ends. Not letting the wire, you know, kind of run out and cut out. This does like to droop down. Remember guys, always snip the end of your wire. Do not run with the contaminated end there. It does not like to weld back to itself when it is dirty. So always snip the end of your wire. All right, guys, and on this, I'm only going to put three tacks. I'm actually going to run one side all the way. Go ahead and shut down our purge here. As I move our setup here to our, our jig. I'm going to use these uh, chain pliers here to hold this, to weld this out. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have our coupon set up here in a 6G. I'm gonna go ahead and start from the bottom here. I'm gonna go ahead and grind our tack here. And as you see guys, I only grinded the, on the end where we're starting, you know, about a quarter inch. So no guys, I like to snip 
the stamping off. The stamping is a little wider than your than your rod itself, and it can get caught in your bevels here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. Always double check, make sure you got a good purge. Have ours running right now. Go ahead and start here at the bottom. All right guys, as you see, I like to heat up the, the tack where we're tying in from. Nice and hot where it's molten. And I just kind of like to pause on the sides, making sure I'm breaking down the walls. Trying not to let my puddle run out of wire. I know it's a little hard to see, but I am giving it a little bit of wire. All right guys, so we've got that quarter in. I'm gonna go ahead and move our tape on this side here. Go ahead and do this other bottom. All right guys. So as you can see here, I grinded this tack really long, really thin. So that way it ties in really well when we come up to it. And did the same thing here. Just ground about a quarter, eighth inch. Just thinning it out so I can get a good time when we take off there from the bottom. Remember guys, always snip the end of your wire. Keep it nice and clean. This stuff does not like, you know, contamination of any kind. All right guys, so same thing. Remember to heat up the tack you're tying in from really well. Then just a nice and easy movement side to side, making sure you're breaking down the bevels. Try to keep the feed nice and even from your wire. You know, I like to keep my tungsten pointing in towards the center of the weld. It helps make sure I get the arc to break down the walls inside, especially on our root here. You know, try to keep your tungsten straight in. Okay, and as we're coming up to our tack here, we're going to continue to follow through. Make sure we get a good tie-in. Just moving nice and easy. Just maintaining the same rhythm, side to side. Okay, got to the end, all the way through, and pull out on our bevel. We see in there, our tie-in looks good. Thing looks like that went well, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up for this side. All right, so gonna grind our top tack now. Also the same way, really long, really thin grind. That'll help us out with our tying. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and weld this upper quarter here. Go ahead and get comfortable here for the run. Right, guys, I like to heat up that tack really well, or the starting point, I should say. Get it nice and molten before you start adding wire. This material is real easy to get cold wire. You know, just a real nice e and easy movement, left and right, making sure I'm breaking down the breaking down the bevels here. Just keep on moving. We're almost to our tie-in here. And you just keep moving forward, same speed. Try to keep everything very consistent. You know, walk all the way through the tack. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and check our tie in here in our quarter. Looks like that tied in well. Gonna go ahead and repeat the process here. In our last quarter, make sure I got enough rod to actually do the, the full quarter here. We'll go ahead and grind our start and our stop. And what I'm doing here, guys, as you can see, you know, we started off with a 3 16th gap, and now our 1 8th wire will not even fit in this quarter here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, mostly just here on the tack side where I'm actually going to be putting the wire in. You can see, you know, this is really tight. If you try welding it like this, you're going to have trouble moving your wire. You're going to get caught up. I'm going to go ahead and open this quarter up here. All right, as you can see now, we got enough room for our 1 8 wire now. I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Double check our purge here. Still good.
Remember guys, warm up your start there, nice and molten, before you even get the wire close. Same thing guys, just nice and easy movement, side to side. And once we get to our tie-in here, we're going to continue all the way through where we ground out. And then we'll slowly pull off the arc here. And our tie-in came out good here. I'm going to go ahead and adjust our machine here for our hot pass and go ahead and... What I like to do is give it a a nice and easy little grind over the top just to clean off any uh, scale and unevenness for our hot pass. I got our root I'll grind it up here. I turned our machine up to 120. I still have our purge going on very lightly. Our root was, is still going to get red hot. You know, you still can damage it. So running the purge just a little bit. And go ahead and start from the bottom here. I'm going to run my one-eighth wire as well. You know, here you just have a nice, steady walk. Just making sure we're burning the sides. Making sure everything's tying in. I like to run these a little bit on the cold side so I don't damage my root. Go ahead and walk out. Go ahead and snip our wire. And here I'm only going to grind our, our stop here. Go ahead and start from the bottom up here. Remember guys to keep your wire up on the high side. The same thing as I walk, it just nice and even, making sure sweeping in, tying in the sides. Try not to add too much wire. You don't want to get lack of fusion here. Just a nice smooth steady pace. Make sure you don't stop or stay in one spot too long. Gonna go ahead and grind our stop here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn up our machine for our fill here. I'm gonna set our uh, next fill pass here at 150 amps. I kind of like to alternate from sides. You know, I did the hot pass on that side first, then on this side, and I'm gonna do the fill on this side also. And I'll jump back that way. That way our coupon stays nice and straight. Go ahead and start with our fill here from the bottom. Remember guys, you are, we are welding in the 6G position, so you do want to try to keep your wire up on the, on the top side of this bevel, as gravity will pull your metal down. Now, and keep in mind where you guys are looking around, it's very hard to see with this uh, filler wire. You know, it does, you do see a, a large green blob kind of in front of you, and the puddle is very hard to see. So be mindful of where your bevel edges are, your side, and how much wire you're putting. All right, guys, so here we're putting in our bottom fill. And if you guys notice, I'm keeping my wire to the high side. You know, I'm trying to keep the metal up high because gravity is going to bring it down low. And just be mindful of how much wire you guys are putting. And I know it's, it's really hard to see with the arc and you just need to be mindful of where your bevel is and the amount of material you're putting in. You know, don't try to put too much at once. You know, you can get lack of fusion because of that. All right, guys, so I turned my machine down to 55. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to fill this. With uh, these next two passes, we should be able to flush this, uh, this pipe out. Again, guys, just be mindful of the high side of the bevel. Try not to undercut it. 
try not to put too much material at once again. You know, it, it will sag. It does not like to be kind of out of position. So just be mindful of your wire, your position, and just try to keep it as straight as possible. I know it's difficult. You really can't see where you're going. All right, guys, so we got our coupon here all the way flushed up. I'm gonna go ahead and start our cap. And for our cap, I'm gonna use 1 8 wire, and I'm running at 140 amps. Now I'm gonna start again up from the bottom all the way to the top. After we do the fills, guys, the coupon is very hot, so we are gonna have to give it some time to cool. You know, we don't wanna burn the material up. And after this uh, coupon is flush, I am gonna turn the purge off. You know, we should not get the coupon hot enough to damage the inside, so we will shut the purge off after that. We want to be mindful and keeping an eye on our bottom bevel. I know, you know, it's hard to see the puddle. It's hard to see um, exactly where you're moving, but try to kind of look ahead, watch where you're headed. You know, it's, it is really easy to kind of get lost, especially since you already flush. Remember to keep your wire up on the high side still. It does like to sag, so just try to keep a consistent rhythm and just kind of keep an eye forward of where you're headed. All right, guys, so gonna put the second bead on our cap. Still got the machine at 140 amps, running 1 8 wire again. And just start from the bottom up. All right, guys, I know uh, this material is not doesn't come up very often, but it is very expensive and it is very hard to work with. You know, it is uh, about a 65 to 70% nickel content with 30% uh, uh, copper content. And it does have about, I believe it's like a max of two and a half percent of uh, iron. So it is mostly just nickel and copper guys. And that's why you get that, that green hue around the arc. All right, guys, don't forget to grind your stop here. You know, you, it does get a little oxidized. It, it looks a little weird. It looks kind of uh, like if it's burnt. So go ahead and, and grind that off. Make sure it's nice and clean before you tie in your next bead from the other sides. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and throw our third and last bead here on our cap. So again, 140 amps, 1 8 wire, and starting from the bottom up. Right, guys so there you have it showed you guys how to run uh alloy 400 here monel in the 6g position and remember if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you guys on the next one